Hello Scorpio, welcome to your outlook on love for 2022. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love in the year 2022, who you might be dealing with, and advice from Spirit on how to approach love uh, throughout 2022. As always, these messages are general. They will not resonate with every Scorpio watching 100%, so take that into consideration while watching this reading. Also, make sure you check out your moon, your rising sign, specifically for these types of messages. Um, sometimes those messages can resonate more. Um, all of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box, so make sure you check them out. And let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, insight for Scorpio regarding love in 2022. What is coming their way in love in 2022 for Scorpio? What is coming their way in love in the year 2022 for Scorpio? What is coming their way in love for 2022? Okay. I'm going to pick also the Romance Angels and then I'll break these down, look at all of them closely. Can I get some insight please for Scorpio regarding love in 2022? What can Scorpio expect in love in the year 2022? What can Scorpio expect in love? Yep. What can Scorpio expect in love in the year 2022? I want one more for Scorpio. This one. Okay, Scorpio. Um, we have secret admire and hidden feelings. I feel like these go together, especially with hidden motives as well. So I feel like this is someone you, you're not, it's not, they're not in your mind for, uh, how do I say this? <clears throat> Uh, a lot of you don't know this person. Some of you, um, this is someone that you're not, it's, it's not who you expect. It's not who you think. Someone could be hiding their feelings for you, hiding, um, you know, their motives towards you. Like maybe they're your friend, but they want more. We have balancing act, divine timing, and wishing well. So th these together, I feel like it's someone that, you know, they're kind of going back and forth. Maybe you have a lot going on in your life, and so it prevents someone from taking that chance. But I feel with divine timing and wishing well, spirit is bringing you something that maybe you don't even know is for you. And I say that because I have is it's safe for you to love. I have love yourself first, getting to know each other, retreat, and passion. So it's almost like spirit is bringing you a connection that you're going to be it's new getting to know each other, but it's a connection that's better for you in some way. It's safe for you to love and love yourself first. Maybe in the past you have not been with people who appreciate you or give you what you desire, what you deserve. I feel like this person, I don't know, it's almost like uh, it's good that they're different. That's kind of the message that I'm getting so far. Wishing well is here with divine timing. So it's almost like your wish will be granted when it comes to lover relationships in 2022 but again I feel like a lot of you don't know who this is or if you do know this person or interact with this person it's not in a romantic way let's see what else we get with the tarot what's coming Scorpio's way in love in 2022 <clears throat> what is coming Scorpio's way in love in 2022 spirit what can Scorpio expect in love in 2022 let's see we have the nine of wands king of cups reverse queen of coin reverse the chariot queen of cups reverse wow we have the king and queen of cups reverse i'm going to put some other cards down as well the wheel reverse five of coin and six of wands so um I, i'm getting a lot of um Let me put, yeah, Nine of Swords and Page of Cups Rivers. Okay, so basically, Scorpio, I feel like some of you, when it comes to love, 2020 and 2021 were not good. I'm speaking to a Scorpio that they were either heartbroken or disappointed, 
in love. Um, they had disappointments when it came to love. Um, perhaps you were with a person that wasn't able to commit to you or didn't give you what you deserved. Um, I feel like a lot of you, the wheel was reversed in love for maybe all of last year. And it's kind of sad because the, the chariot and the six of wands is here. So that tells me that there was either potential for success or this is meant for you. Success and victory are meant for you. You just haven't seen it. Um, I think a lot of you have been worried about uh, the future when it comes to love. Will you meet the right person? Are you going to keep, I heard, or am I going to keep meeting the wrong people? So I feel like a lot of you are worried, anxious, um, or perhaps you're worried or anxious because of a specific person. So I don't think that love has been great. We start off with the nine of wands. I mean, this is somebody that, you know, just hasn't been doing well. And I think at the beginning of 2022, you're going to be very guarded because of what you've been through. Um, it's not going to be easy to break down your walls. It's not going to be easy to get to know you. Um, I think whoever's coming your way, perhaps they're not revealing their feelings right away because they know you haven't had a good time when it comes to love. Some of you are probably dealing with a person who really you trusted or you loved a lot and they broke your heart. And it's been a really long road to recover from that. I mean, I have the Page of Cups reverse, Queen of Cups reverse king of cups reverse i mean this is like emotional upheaval this is someone that is their dream has been crushed their illusions have burst you know whatever um they thought was sweet and loving it turned out to be you know just disappointing at the end of the day and so i feel like this is this is what you've been kind of dealing with and what you're bringing into um 2022 um, I feel a lot of you need to move away from this. The chariot is here, Cancer energy. I feel like a lot of you need to move away from this energy um, into something different. I feel like the reason why things have not worked out, Scorpio, is because they weren't meant to. And a lot of Scorpios on my channel, the ones that I end up reading for, recently we had a reading called, I think the title was like, This Had to End or This Was Meant to End. Um, if you had a relationship that ended in 2021 or 2020, you should check out that reading. It, it'll be in your playlist, but something was meant to end for that collective, uh, that Scorpio collective, um, because it was not meant for you. And I feel like the wheel has not turned for you because you haven't been on the right path yet. Um, I think 2022 is going to get you to the right path. The divine timing is here. It's funny because I feel like I'm getting a story. A lot of you, you're scared or anxious or just worried because um, maybe you don't have it in you to try again or you don't even know if you can trust your judgment anymore. Maybe you're worried that you're going to make another mistake in love because this 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 is heart, like excessive heartbreak. Like This is someone that was put through the ringer. Um, and, you know, Scorpio, this doesn't necessarily have to be also that someone broke your heart specifically, but maybe like a dream that you had for a connection just didn't pan out. And that's been a huge disappointment for you. I'm actually going to pick even more cards because I feel like they're showing me this because they're setting up kind of how 2022, the, th the main themes of 2022 are going to be related to what has recently happened and that could be because you need to learn to love yourself first to trust in love it's safe for you to love is here open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all don't forget to keep yourself in mind love yourself first and then getting to know each other's there with retreat and passion so i feel like scorpios really need to be thinking about letting go of the disappointment and the heartbreak and healing from that so that you can invite love in, so that you can trust in love again, so that you can, you know, set yourself up for success in love for the next person. You don't want to bring all of this into your next connection. What else is coming Scorpio's way in 2022 when it comes to love? What can Scorpio expect, Spirit? What can Scorpio expect in love? Yeah, the Empress. I feel like there's a lot of potential here, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you have a lot going on with balancing act. Maybe you've just 
overwhelmed. Maybe you have, you're doing it all a lot solo, a lot on your own. But I feel like you are ready for a new cycle. You just have to make sure that you're willing to do the work to get there. You know, these energies of the wheel, the chariot, the nine of cups, you know, getting your wish, your happy ending, you know, that doesn't just happen to us. It has to happen with our participation. So I feel like some of you, yes, it's been difficult in love. Yes, you've been burned in love. Yes, maybe you had a difficult ending, but it's a bad day, a bad month. It's not a bad life, right? There's potential here for growth, for abundance with the Empress. This is someone that recognizes their value. This is someone that loves themselves first. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? What's headed their way in 2022? What's headed their way in 2022? And you don't want to carry all of this so tightly or carry it with you into the next cycle because you might miss true love. Your Two of Cups just came out. I feel like this is what you could have. This is what is in store for you. This is what the future holds when it comes to love. The chariot, the two of cups, and the empress, I feel, are going to turn around this wheel. But you cannot be a nine of wands in your next connection. You know, as you get to know other people, as you put yourself out there, as you start dating again, you cannot be a closed up, guarded, defensive person. You know, not everyone is going to be your past partner. You know, and a lot of the times we have to do that inner healing or we can re repeat mistakes or we can uh, jump into a connection we're not ready for. I feel like some of you could be meeting a soulmate. Two of Cups is here. Um, the Chariot is here and the Empress is here. So it's going to be a very um, beautiful connection. Let's see. Tell me about the Chariot. I feel like the Chariot is super important. Um, this retreat, it's almost like putting your, you know, walking away from the past, turning your back to the past. Tell me about the chariot for Scorpio. What do we need to know about the chariot? What do we need to know about the chariot? Page of Wands. What do we need to know about the chariot for Scorpio? What do we need to know, Spirit, about the chariot? Seven of Wands. What do we need to know about the chariot? for Scorpio. What do we need to know? King of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles is making me think of that love yourself first, standing up for yourself and recognizing your worth. I'm speaking to a Scorpio that their worth has been put into question. Um, their values, their confidence, you know, their self-value, self-worth and their confidence have been damaged or um, they 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 feel very insecure or like they're not worthy of love or perhaps, you know, they feel like they were failures because of what happened. I think you have to get out of that mindset. This is, this is not, this is, this is something you're telling yourself. That doesn't mean it's the reality. Um, you are an empress, empress energy, whether you're a male, female or anything in between, <laughs> you are an empress energy. That, that is your worth. That's your potential. Page of Wands, Seven of Wands is also telling me to fight for a new beginning. Um, take the initiative. Take a risk. Page of Wands is that person that they're like, okay, that seems kind of scary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Or they don't really think about the details too much. They don't think about what could go wrong. The Page of Wands thinks about the positive, optimistic side of life. Tell me about the Empress. What do we need to know about the Empress for Scorpio? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah. This this is what's in store for you, Scorpio. I hope that this is what you are wanting. Uh, wishing well is here. Wish, desires, dreams, plans. I hope that this is Ace of Cups because I feel like Spirit is just holding this on the other side of a door. Tell me about the Empress. Knight of Cups. I mean, I feel like I don't even need to keep clarifying here. The star at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. Healing. Renewal. Wish is being granted. Your wish will be granted in love, but it won't be without 
you doing a little bit of work, you know, whether that's finding a mentor, a counselor, journaling, cleansing, um, cutting off attachments that are keeping you down energetically, raising your vibrations, listening to your intuition, being true to yourself, to who you are. Understanding that, yes, what happened was terrible, but it doesn't have to be the rest of your life. You know, this is something that you can only do for yourself. And you will be rewarded, apparently, at the end of, the, at the end of all of this. I feel like you, as you heal, as you move towards this King of Pentacles, Empress energy, I think you're going to catch someone's eye. I think someone's going to be like, look at that. I can't help but admire Scorpio from afar. But maybe Scorpio has too much going on right now for me to make my move. Or maybe Scorpio is too guarded for me to make my move. That, that's what you have to be careful about. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Wow, the higher font. I, I seriously, I feel like I cannot keep clarifying <laughs> Taurus energy with the higher font. Uh, this, is, this is like the epitome of the perfect connection. <laughs> Um, the higher font is all about values, morals, um, doing the right thing, doing things by the book, very traditional energy. I feel like this is someone that, um, or a connection that's very traditional, right? It, it slowly builds into an engagement, possibly a marriage. Um, you know, this is someone that would take their time to do things right. So let's find out a little bit about this new person coming in. What do we need to know about this new person coming in to Scorpio's energy? What do we need to know about this person coming in to Scorpio's energy? What do we need to know about this person, Spirit? What do we need to know? Mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. Yeah, I feel like this person is not going to open up um, right away. Um... Maybe they feel like you are uh, mysterious and mystifying, you know, like they're trying to figure you out. Divine Feminine, that's the Empress. Virgo, ruled by Mercury. So this is like the Hermit. This person could be a Virgo, have Virgo in their chart, or this could be the Hermit. I feel like with the Hermit and Mysterious, this is like secret and mire um, energy for sure. Uh, we have Confident at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person's typically a confident person very secure in themselves um and when they see you they want you i feel like they're going to keep their feelings to themselves at first um i don't know if this is due to fear or if they're just trying to impress you learn more about you i, I don't know what's going on here but this is someone that doesn't tell you right away how they feel by the way this is not going to be for scorpio that's cooped up at home i just feel the need to say that because I feel like this is someone that watches you or can see you. This is someone that you would interact with in some capacity. Um, and it has to be somebody new. So this is not going to be for the Scorpio that is shut up at home and never meets anybody. I mean, how are you going to catch anyone's eye from your living room? What else do we need to know about this person? Getting to know each other's here. So I'm picturing like events parties birthdays um something with like a wine bar things like that we have toil and labor message of concern and great fortune um this person's afraid of rejection i feel like i'm starting to pick up this energy of someone who they hide they hide their feelings because they're afraid of rejection false person poverty pathway okay so i think you don't trust oh okay I think some of you, this is this is what I'm saying, that the, the work that you do is very important and can turn everything around. I feel like this is someone that's going to, when they meet you, it's almost like they get this message of, I'm going to need to work twice as hard to prove to Scorpio that I'm not a terrible person. Or I need to earn Scorpio's trust and that's going to take a lot of energy, a lot of effort on my part. For some reason, they get that message, whether it's true or not. Maybe you're very guarded. Maybe you are shy, reserved. But this person, in their mind, they're hoping for a huge opportunity here. Great fortune. This is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. You might meet this person at work. Toil and labor. 
Again, I feel like this is for the Scorpios that are interacting with people in some capacity, whether it's a project, a work environment, the gym, um, some sort of uh, community events, community gathering, volunteering. You are meeting se several types of people or different people. Maybe you're focused on improving yourself in some way, like taking care of your health, getting in shape, something like that. Um, I feel like you're gonna meet someone and it's someone new because I, I just get the sense that you, I don't know, with the chariot, I feel like this is for Scorpios that have left the past in the, in the past. And it's inviting something new in. Ace of Cups is here. The Empress is here. Two of Cups is here. But with the Mysterious here, <laughs> I just get the sense that this person, it's almost like pulling teeth with you. You're not easy to get to know at this stage in your life. And so you will need to keep that in mind, Scorpio. Not everyone is um, untrustworthy, right? But I feel like, again, Scorpios have been... For the Scorpios that I'm reading for, your confidence has been rocked. What you thought was, you thought that you were doing what was right or what you thought you were had to do this whole time and it blew up in your face in some way. So let's see, what advice do you have for Scorpio and their approach to love in 2022? Spirit, what advice do you have for Scorpio and their approach to love in 2022? How should Scorpio approach love in 2022? We have to the sea. Uh, that's a, someone like on a boat. What should a Scorpio's approach to love be, spirit, in 2022? Fork in the road. Yeah, this is a new direction, a new path. What should their approach to love be for Scorpio? Chop wood. Okay, so serendipity is at the bottom of the deck. This is like expect the unexpected. Once again, I get this energy of... Um, something new something that you don't really see you don't really know this person is interested in you or is coming your way number seven to the sea let me just look at this real quick being in flow re returning to source recognizing how pieces fit together a natural pattern of events this card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. So this is like things working out for you as if by magic. Um, this is you focusing on the day-to-day -day details, projects, focusing on yourself with chop wood. Um, chop wood is kind of like an energy of like just do what you need to do and the rest kind of falls into place. Um, <clears throat> this is like the simple chores in your life. This is uh, mundane acts, um, taking your attention, um, focusing on your goal, uh, focusing on the details, clearing your energy so that you can receive, you know, aha moments. That's chop wood. So I feel like a lot of Scorpios, 2022, there's going to be this message or this theme, I guess I should say, of changing things a little bit. You can't do what you've been doing in the past when it comes to love. Your approach has to change. Your mindset has to change. You should have learned from what happened and apply those lessons into a new cycle or a new way of doing things. Um, and I feel like you can only do that if you are focused on what truly matters, focusing on being honest with yourself and opening your heart to love again. Um, obviously, that's easier said than done. And I'm with you, you know? <laughs> It's, it's not always easy. And sometimes these messages are not really complicated. If you notice, a lot of the messages for a lot of the signs seems to be very uh, similar messages. And that's because um, cycles, spiritual journeys, they really only happen in certain, like, it's not like, it's not like these are secret knowledges that nobody understands or complex themes that nobody can, no. Usually, life is not that complicated. Relationships are not that complicated. We end up making them more complicated. But I feel like this is for Scorpios that need to um, remember who they are and love themselves first. And in doing that, they invite a beautiful energy in. So it's yours if you want it. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this bonus 
outlook on love if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on another video very soon take care